Hi, I'm Chuck Big Daddy Meyer from the IKC. For those of you who do not know, that is the Iguana Killers Club. I am in uh, Key West, Florida today, and we just finished an afternoon safari. Came up with three green iguanas, and uh, these are the iguanas that you're hunting. Iguanas in the Florida Keys are a non-indigenous invasive species, and that means they're not supposed to be here. These particular iguanas have the ability to lay 40 to 70 eggs at a setting or in a clutch. The Iguana and, Killers uh, Club is about saving the Florida Keys. Fragile I've had some people sit there and ask me, how do you clean them? There's a couple of ways to do it. The old bushcraft way is you just light a big white man fire and you stall the outside of the iguana. The way I prefer to field dress an iguana is I actually skin the iguana. You'll see the meat. So if you have stumbled on this video and you like iguanas, or you have one on a rock in your house and you're very affectionate with that lizard. This may not be the video for you. This is your warning. This is the iguana. All right, this is going to be your well. standard Florida Keys green iguana, a non indigenous invasive species. What we're going to get ain't got a whole lot of meat on the tail. You'll probably want to cut the tail somewhere about right in here. It's about three foot in length. The biggest part of the meat system on the iguana is going to be in the little arms here and the thighs on the back side, everything else is chunky. To start the show, what we do is we hit it from the rooter to the tutor. We make a cut from here to there and then a Y cut from this up in the legs down to the side, from here up in the legs down to the side and the back part of the tail is usable. Cut right about here. Stick the pointy end of the knife right up in the middle of it and just letting it go right to the front of the breastplate of the iguana and all the way down the middle. And what that does is it opens it up. Everything is still in contained. Everything's moving. Through the chest cavity right here. And then we remove the inside. It is, uh, we took the innards out, and this is what you got. This is the kind of meat that you got. That Y cut goes through there. Just slam your fingers on the side here and pull the skin off. Then pull it off up in here. And you'll have little iguana bites on one side. Same thing on the other side. Take it off like a knife. All right, so what we did is we uh, chopped the bottom part of the feet off, removed the head, now we just give it a and you got to give pull. it a pull. And from that point, you can work it a little more, but that's probably where you your get a best meat is gonna be. Pull this out just like we're skinning a cat food. But we're skinning bamboo chicken, chicken to the tree. Once it starts breaking off, there it is. That is one. Move some of the feet on this end. Right at the joints. One chicken of the tree, pollo tropical, bamboo chicken, Key West green tree squirrel, but that's an iguana. And we're going to give that to a couple of chefs downtown um, this week. They're going to go ahead and make us a fine dining delicacy of iguana 101. What do you think, Ricky? Great.